Welcome to Spotlight with Shonda Scott. We are here celebrating the life of the, in the city of Oakland. It's a community event that's calling to action the stopping of the violence and the stopping of the silence in the city of Oakland. With 5% of the population doing almost over 90% of the violence, the 95% are calling to action that we have to stop this senseless violence in our community. So we're here to talk to the leaders and see what has happened over the last year since the first Stop the Violence rally occurred. Nineteen seventy five to two thousand and ten. Two hundred and ninety five thousand African Americans dead in this country. And not one mention of it anywhere in the press, in the newspaper, nowhere. So the only people who are gonna make them come to their senses to do something about this is the community. church and all the churches who are out in our community on a regular basis. Celebration of life in the city of Oakland. We are here. I'm an Oakland native. You're an Oakland native. I'm You're Oakland, Oakland native. native. Are you Oakland native? No, I'm not. Uh, we all represent Oakland. 99%. <laughs> <laughs> Pastor Kerry, we, we were out here spotlighting this event last year. So what has changed in the last year, if anything, and what do you want to see now that this is an annual and they see that you're not going to stop until the violence stops? What do we need to see and what have you seen? I think the most important thing that has happened this year is the participation from the other churches. We have churches from um, Montclair here today. We've got churches from the lake. Pastor Maurice is here today. We got pastors from East Oakland, West Oakland, North Oakland. The participation was just great this year, more so than last year. And I think if we keep moving in this direction, we're going to really see God do something in our city that we've never seen before. Pastor Kerry, you're much like the president who said it's not about him, it's about us. What do you say about the people giving them an understanding that it's not about you, it's about us? That's a great, that's a great question. And I'm going to tell you this, when I see the blood of our young people flowing off of the sidewalk into the gutters of America, it's not about any individual. I think it's about all of us collectively because we have to say something about that. I mean, another anybody that loses their life in America, it's a shame. But for our, a whole generation to be wiped out and no one says anything, then shame on us. And if anybody has an issue with that, then that has nothing to do with me personally. You know, I think they're just turning their back on the community. And you, what you see here today is you see a group of clergy here today that are saying that we're going to stop the silence to stop the violence. Because you can't preach every Sunday in your church and, and not say anything about this situation. We have um, hooked up with during the ceasefire, the Boston, Massachusetts model program. And for two weeks in a row, we've been out on Friday nights. We started off in Central, where our church, Victory, is located in the 20s. We went all on the 20s and talked to people and told them to be here for the peace rally. And then on last night, we did the 80s, Bancroft, East 14th, uh, 82nd Avenue, all up in the 80s we did on last night. We had about another 55 to 60 people out. So we're, it's going to take some time. We're letting our presence be known. Thank you, pastors. I'm glad you guys are coming together. I'm, I'm so happy to see the clergy because I was a mom crying. Like, where are our churches? There was a time when we were, when we were babies. The church is where everything happened. That's where all the movements have happened historically in this country. And so I'm glad that our generations are back. That's right. We know your peace signs. This is about the peace in the community. Celebration of life in the city of Oakland. Go your peace, signs up. Go your peace, signs up. Spotlight with Shonda Scott. We're here at City Hall for the Celebration of Life camp 
event, a rally to stop the violence in Oakland. It's about peace, it's about celebration of life, and it's about finding out what our next steps are. With me is the city attorney of Oakland, Ms. Barbara Parker. Ms. Parker, can you tell us, like, rallies like this, how does it help? Because so many people are saying that you rally and rally, and then what's after the rally? I mean, as a city attorney, what can Oakland do to really move forward and stop this violence? Well, I think these rallies bring the spotlight to the issue, and we have to keep doing this. Reverend Carey of Truvine is continuing the vigils every weekend. There's so much happening. It's a big you know, media, short-term memory, and so that brings the focus. And then we are committed. I am committing all the resources in my office, working closely with the police chief, with the pastors, and with the council to develop solutions. What I have with me today is a ram's horn. Uh, in Hebrew, it's called a shofar. And it was historically used to blow this horn for the sound, to call people together, to inspire people to take action. And in Oakland right now, we're really needing to take action around the illegal guns and the epidemic of gun violence. Tired of being tired and not knowing what to expect. Every day another problem, this is weighing on my chest. As the murder rate is climbing, we rise in the crew in debt. Obligations to humanity, infinite bounce checks. We come to cash in, and we want every bit of change. We running out of time. And one of the ways that we have actually helped to reduce crime in our city is through Civic Pride because we actually foster uh, uh, within the kids, you know, a, a, a commitment to uh, civic engagement, a commitment to being engaged, a commitment to doing productive activity. And so being out here today for me is really what Civic Pride is all about. I'm here to support uh, the, uh, the uh, activities here because if we don't get together as a community, it is not going to change. We have to invest in our young people and make sure that they're at the front forefront when we, in terms of our policy, in terms of our commitment and dedication. We have to make sure that they're in school, that they're not truant, that we talk to their parents and make sure that they understand the importance of going to school daily. Um, that's part of what we do with Oakland Natives Give Back and why we've spent so much time walking and canvassing and knocking on doors to explain to parents the importance because some of us drop out of high school not because we aren't intelligent enough or academically inclined, it's because we don't have the supports we need sometimes at home to make sure that we get to school every day and sometimes policy pushes us out of school. Celebration of life, it's about the youth. It's about celebrating life and having the youth save the lives of our youth in our community who are dying in record numbers. With me is Marissa Peters, who is a senior at Oakland School for the Arts and as an Oakland native as well. Marissa, tell us about having events like this. What does that help do for you as a youth in our community? Um, it really gives like youth a voice and um, we can actually be a part of something and not be in the background and we can actually like help all the youth because if we're close to youth that's having violence then we can ask them like you know can you stop or like some like give them a voice and know that we care about what they're going through. 